Due to YouTube's sensitive policy, I just want to clarify that every characters in this anime are over 18, and they are adult. Hey there, today I'm going to talk about a cultural anime. The sauce is in the video, please look for it carefully. If you don't know where to watch it, Google is your best friend. On the night before Christmas, the main character is just spending his time alone in his apartment. I guess he is alone and has no girlfriend, just like me. Hmm? When he is having his drink, he suddenly heard a noise coming from the balcony. He quickly checked his balcony and he found a Santa girl lying on the ground. So Santa -san? It all started when the Santa girl, Aisha, is delivering present as usual. She tries to finish her work quick so she can get back home early. <laughs> She is going to deliver the final present, and she is done with her work. When she stepped on the balcony, she accidentally slipped and fell to the ground. I guess she will be coming early to town on this night. Anyways, that's enough flashback for now. When he saw the Santa girl, he is very happy because he finally got a portable protein receiver, also known as a girlfriend. This means that he can finally quit his single-player game and his single life. Well, moving on, since she is unconscious, he carried her into his room. It is freezing outside, so he does not want her to get frostbite. By the way, you should never do that in real life because it is 2023 now. If you found a woman unconscious and lying on the ground, please do not touch her without her permission, or you will be cancelled for being a creep. Don't even think of looking at her or trying to talk to her because that is very rude and she already has a boyfriend. Just move away and leave her alone because privacy is very important to women. She is an independent and strong woman so she can take care of herself. Just respect her from afar because that is the right thing to do in 2023. Please subscribe to my channel for more survival tips like this. Anyways, after carrying her onto his bed, he thanked the Lord for giving him a beautiful Santa girl as his present. God, I wish that were me. He immediately checked her vital to ensure that she is fine. If she is not, then it is a time attack for him before she becomes cold. Well, enough of that crap. He knew that she might have trouble breathing, so he removed her battle gear for tactical purposes. After that, he examined her melons to ensure that they are safe and ready to be eaten. This is his first time encountering such premium homegrown melons, so he is taking his time enjoying them. In the meantime, Aisha has no idea what the hell is going on. She must be having a wonderful dream about her coming to town. After ensuring the melons pass the vibe check, he is checking out her tunnel for safety purposes. During the safety inspection, he found out that there are some leakage in the tunnel. This is dangerous because it does not abide the OSHA policy. So, he keeps measuring the length and width of the tunnel using his finger because he is a human measuring tape. Well, once again, she is still unconscious, but it seems like she is going to wake up soon. I mean, anyone would wake up after getting a throughout safety check. I am speaking from my own experience. After determining the parameters of her tunnel, he is going to seal the leakage using the one and only tool, the legendary all-purpose Excalibur. So, it is time for plumbing time. After receiving the emergency repair, Aisha woke up and she felt some pain. She realized that he is giving her the sealing treatment. She quickly asked him to stop because there is a misunderstanding. He told her that this is not a misinput and continue the sealing. After a while, it is time for protein time. So, he used the good old reliable organic protein sealant to repair the leakage. He is not using any protection because protection is for loser. I guess Santa is not the only one coming to town on this night. She also released a lot of Santa girl water to complete the sealing process. After he is done with sealing time, he achieved post-protein clarity. He quickly apologized to her and told her that it was not on purpose. Well, you guys can use that as defense in court if you ever get caught sealing the wrong tunnel. Moving on, he explained to her that she is too beautiful, so he couldn't hold himself back from giving her a lot of love and protein shake. Who knew that he is very thoughtful and wants her to stay healthy? Luckily, she is fine with it because she is not the only one coming to town. After that, she starts searching for his present in her bag. <laughs> It is a Christmas card and it's from her mother. Her mother informed her that Aisha is his present. So, everything that he did to her is not wrong, because he is just exercising his right. They did not see that coming although they were coming to town just now. Well, moving on, it seems like her supportive mother wants to have a grandchild soon. After reading that, she is shocked and couldn't accept the truth. Uh, 
I guess she is going to live together with him from now on, and he is no longer a single player gamer now. Damn, son, where'd you find this? After a year has passed, Aisha is adapting to her new life flawlessly. However, she felt like everything is too sudden. She did not expect that her mom is that supportive. <laughs> Suddenly, they heard something from the balcony. It is a Santa girl again. She introduces herself as Sasha, and she is Aisha's little sister. She gave Aisha a present and told her that it is from mom. Aisha got some tactical Santa girl outfit. I can see that her mother is a woman of culture. She has no clue why her mom gave her this type of outfit. Sasha informed her that their mother wants to get a grandchild as soon as possible. It has been a year now, and Aisha still has not fulfilled her main quest. To be honest, I have no idea why she could not complete that. Maybe she did a lot of side quest. He saw her tactical outfit, and immediately caught by its effect. He wants to do some protein time with her. <laughs> However, Aisha rejects him because she is not mentally prepared yet. She is still afraid of his mighty Excalibur. Sasha saw that and told him that she will take over the mission if Aisha is not ready. He is very delighted with that suggestion and he changed his target to Sasha. Aisha did not see that coming although she will be coming to town later. He starts to examine Sasha as usual. After everything is safe and clear, it is time for protein time. He immediately used his wonder weapon on her for some top 10 gaming moments. Aisha is watching their gameplay in 4K. She is shocked and speechless. She did not expect that Sasha could take over her place as the primary protein receiver. His wonder weapon is not enough for both of them at the same time. After a few gaming moments, he gave Sasha a lot of limited edition protein man's protein. Sasha is very satisfied with that. I mean, who wouldn't? After that, Aisha changed her mind, and she wants him to give her some fresh organic protein too. It seems like she could not resist the tasty fresh organic protein. Well, I don't blame her. After hearing that, he is very happy and 360 no scope her for some phase montage. In the meantime, it is Sasha's turn to watch their live stream in 4K. She is also doing a solo let's play so she can feel involved with their gameplay. After a few shot, his protein gauge is full and he is going to use his ultimate move, which is the protein blast. Aisha wants him to promise her that he will only love her. He promised her and immediately gave her a lot of protein man's protein to seal the deal. I couldn't believe that they actually did the unholy act on the holy night. They did not even use any protection when holding hands. Remember guys, you should never do that without any protection. Although he has been gaming a lot with both of them, it is still not enough for him. He has the stamina of a god, so he keeps gaming with both of them until he is completely exhausted. From that day onward, he finally believed that Santa is real. It seems like Santa are really coming to town this year, and they will not be coming alone. Well, that is the end of my recap for this cultural anime. This anime has two episodes, and there are some short stories in it. This is one of them, and it is from episode 2. These are the comments and feedbacks for this anime from a cultural website. So, what do you guys think about the plot and animation of this anime? Let me know in the comment section below after you watched it alone, or with your families.